And it's now time for the next part of my 800 video special for 1991 Aerial Fan. And this next segment is a game of Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii, which he requested. treating this as sort of like a tournament of champions game. But whatever I win will go to Colin, not my go to Colin, not me. So this here we go. Is Jeopardy! For the Nintendo Wii. Please welcome our of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jeopardy. Let's Thank go you, Alex. The Jeopardy round. And let's take a look at the categories for this round. As follows. That's my mom. Mom quotation marks. Playwrights. I want to be a hostile takeover. TV nostalgia. And flowers. All right, let's get back right. into this. Um, I want to be for 200. I want these dancers, so I'm practicing my arabesques and pirouettes so I can perform with the Kirov. Okay, player one, use the Wii what remote is or press the card ballerina? on the direction on the... Yep. I want to be for Choose again. 400. One of these, from the Greek for star sailor, like John Glenn or Buzz Aldrin. Player one... What is astronaut? You got it. I want to be for 600. Player one, pick up one you. of these and deal with the health problems of Vicunas, Pintos, and Great Danes. Yes, player one. What is a veterinarian? Yes. I want to be for player 800. One, back to you. Like Martin Luther King and the Dalai Lama and be honored with this humanitarian prize given in Oslo. Let's hear it, player one. What is the Nobel Peace Prize? You are correct. Now, let's finish that up. Select again. This, from the Greek for straight, and make some big bucks correcting crooked teeth with braces. Okay, player one. What is an orthodontist? Good for you. Ran right that category like it was no problem. Layer one. You pick uh, that's my maw for 200. In 1758, Ben Franklin issued his last publication of this annual. Layer one. What is Poor Richard's Almanac? <laughs> maw 400. Layer one. Back to you for a game fish of the family Istiophoridae with a pointed snout. Let's hear it, player one. What is Marlin? Right. 600, please. You get to pick again, player one. Daily Double! Yeah! It's the Daily Double. You are currently... And let's make this a true Daily Double. Here is your Daily Double clue. A doctor who specializes in the treatment of skin diseases. Um, what is a dermatologist? Congratulations. Yeah. Player one. Mod 800. Player one. All right, here with the clue is Kelly. Its silhouette is seen here. What is Massachusetts? It's player one. Mard Ness 51989 would get me if I didn't get come up with that one. You again, player Ma one. Ma for a thousand. Dr. Faustus, playwright. Yes, player one. Who is Christopher Marlowe? Good. Takes it to nine thousand dollars. You get to pick again, player uh, one. TV nostalgia for two hundred. In an animated 1987 TV special, this space age family traveled back in time to meet the Flintstones. Who are the Jetsons? Let's hear it, player one. Correct. 
Player one. Tina Stouch in the pilot for this 60s sitcom, Jed and Jethro first meet Mr. Drysdale when he comes to get them out of jail. Okay, player one. What is the Beverly Hillbillies? Yes. <laughs> player one. Back Tina Stouch 600. The 1973 TV season gave us Richard Roundtree as this super cool private eye he'd played on film. Player one. Who is Shaft? That is correct. 800. Here again, player According one. to his theme song, Mr. This will never speak <clears throat> unless he has something to say. Yes, player one. Who is Ed? That's correct. TV nostalgia for two so back, for a thousand. In the 50s, this movie Tarzan was still hanging out with a chimp but he wore more than a loincloth as TV's Jungle Jim. It's player one. Who is Johnny Weissmuller? Right you are. Takes him to $12,000. Player one, you pick again. Uh, a hostel takeover. Enjoy to the Sleep in Heaven Youth Hostel or the New Hound Boat Hostel in this capital of Denmark. What is Copenhagen? Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. Hostel takeover for 400. Please pick again. I'm sure the Red Bus Hostel is fine, but the Mellow Mood Central Hostel caught my eye in this capital of Hungary. It's player oh, one. It's the capital of Hungary. Uh, what is Budapest? Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, 600. Do one. the Funky Chicken Hostel or the Butterfly Villa Hostel in this Romanian capital. Okay, player one. What is Bucharest? That's right, there you go. 800. Player one. It's off to the Hans Brinker Budget Hotel or Dirty Nelly's Inn. Sounds inviting. In this major European city. Player one. Um, what is Brussels? Sorry, oh, that's No. Fine. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player three. Amsterdam. That's it. Oh. oh well. We return to you, player three. Surf the Internet Hostel or the Marriott Hostel. Note the lack of an extra R and T in Marriott. In this Bulgarian capital. Okay, player one. What is uh, Sarajevo? That's not oh. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Sophia. Sophia, oh. You get to pick again, player three. Holding reserves through winter, these globular <coughs> underground buds let flowers <coughs> like Narcissus bloom early. Yes, player one. What are bulbs? There we go. Flowers you for again, 400. This one. large group of flowering plants attracts serious devotees like those who pay $10,000 for one Peruvian plant. It's player one. Um, where are carnations? Oh, sorry. Ah. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Starting to drop a little bit. Player two. Orchids. <laughs> oh. Select again. This Mayflower of the Buttercup family has a C version too. Let's hear it, player one. What are what is what is urchin? Any other uh, and I'm not doing so hot now. Here's what we were looking for. The anemone. Anemone, oh. Layer two. You pick again, please. A bouquet of a dozen sink foils ought to have a total of this many petals. 
Yes, player one. What is 60? There we go! Flowers a thousand. No vulgari is the oxide type of this common flower. Let's hear it. Player two. Daisy? Right. So Katie's at 1,400. We have one category left. Pick again. His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. It's player one. Who is Eugene O'Neill? Right you are. Uh, player, it's for a thousand. One. Back to you. A 1934 New York City taxi driver's strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. Okay, player two. Sam Shepard? No. Nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player one? Who is Clifford Odets? Good for you. Player it's 800. Player one? Back. This Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. The correct response is Christopher Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe. Uh, we return to you. This Pulitzer Prize winning playwright was related to John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. Who is Tennessee okay, Williams? Player one. Has to be because Tennessee's the volunteer state. And we'll wrap up the board with this clue. Public disgust over his play Ghosts caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his An Enemy of the People. <clears throat> Here's what we wanted. Henrik Ibsen. Henrik Ibsen. That's what we needed. The selection will be yours. I will do from the terms of this break. All right. We start the double jeopardy category. Double jeopardy Episode. coming up now. Insects. Insects. Plays. Plays. India. India. Starts with the letter Starts J. Starts with J. It's not ancient history. It's not ancient and history. When they, when they were in high school. When they were in high school. Player two gets to make the first selection. Starts with J. Four hundred. This 400. time we're moving into the double jeopardy round to cross the street illegally. What is jaywalking? It's player one. Jaywalk. Good. Yep. When they were in high school for Please, 400. Player he one. ran track at Skyline High in Oakland. Good practice for the role of Forrest Gump. Who is Tom Hanks? Let's hear it, player one. And I've seen Forrest Gump yeah. before. So I should know that. Player one. It's a good movie. As a teen in British Columbia, she said her goal was to be a California beach bum. She got her wish on Baywatch... And she was on the first Player two one. seasons of Home Improvement. Who is Pamela Anderson? Oh, you're right. Six, uh, 1,200. To make extra money, she sometimes cleaned out the tour bus for her mom, Naomi, and sister, Wynonna. Yes, Player One. Who is Ashley Judd? Yep. Choose again. As a high school basketball star in Irvington, New Jersey, this royal rapper led her team to two state championships. Who is Queen Latifah? Okay, player one. That's correct. 2,000, please. Player one. Daily Double. That's it. The first of the Daily Double. And you have... All right. Um, I'll try... 12,400. So if I'm right on this, I'll have an even 30,000 He played albums. quarterback for the Terrell High School Tigers before he won an Oscar for playing Ray Charles. Uh, who is Jamie Foxx? That, that, that brings me to $30,000. We return to you. Player Starts with J800. It's combat between two knights on horseback using lances. Let's hear it, player one. What is Joust? Yes. 
my 1200. And there's the other daily double. Sure. The second daily double. You All right. Uh, I will try 19,200. Answer. Breed of cows named for one of the Channel Islands. Oh, uh, uh, breed of cows named for one of the Channel Islands. Okay, uh, hang on a second. Wait, I just want to... Let me just check something here. Breed of cows named for one of the Channel Islands. I'll be right back. Jersey. Congratulations, you're still in okay, first. I kind of had to Google one. that a bit, but oh well. Please pick again, player one. Starts with J16. Many computer games use this lever. What is a joystick? Player one. That is correct. Two thousand, please. You again, player a one. A green mineral, or a fickle woman. Here's the response we were looking for. A jade. Jade. Uh, Player one, back to you for our insects for 400. Show. The finest singers among species of this insect are the tree type, not the house or field type. Yes, player one. What is the uh, cricket? <clears throat> That's it. Yeah, it's the cricket. Insects 800. You get to pick it. It reached Texas from Mexico around 1890 and spread into most cotton growing areas of the United States. It's player one. Um. What is the tick? No. no. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? We're talking about the bull weevil. Oh, the bull weevil. Insects like 1990, 2007 was a year when these noisy insects famously swarmed the Midwest. Let's hear it, player one. Um, what are bumblebees? Oh, no. Now they need 50,000. Here's the correct response. Cicadas. Cicadas. I've never heard of them. You again. All right, let's try something one. else. It's not ancient history for 400. On January 12th, 2010, a magnitude 7 earthquake struck the capital of this island nation. What is Haiti? Yes, player one. Hey, In February 2010, the Winter Olympics began. Oh, I better get this one. What is Canada? Yes. Twelve hundred. Player one. Dozens of journalists were killed in a November 2009 massacre in this country's Maguindanao province. Maguindanao province. Uh, let's see. Which country has that province? Here's what we wanted. 
The Philippines. Philippines, okay. 16 You get to pick a protest accompanied the December 2009 UN Climate Change Conference in this European capital. Player one? Um, what is Copenhagen? Yeah! That's right, way to go. 2000. We returned in August of 2009. This nation pardoned two American journalists who had been arrested for illegal entry. Okay, Holly rings in. Three. North Korea. You got it. She's right, so she goes up to 2,800. Player three, pick again. India for 400. The international airport in New Delhi bears her name. Never been to the international airport in New Delhi. <sighs> Here's the response we were looking for. Indira Gandhi. Oh, Indira Gandhi. Oh, yeah, that's right. Select again. India 800. Jamshedji Nata, an important businessman of this movie capital, used his wealth to enrich it. Let's hear it, player one. Um, what is Bombay? That's correct. Okay. India for 1,200. Please pick it. As the new leader of India, Lal Bahadur <coughs> Shastri led it into a war with this neighbor in 1965. Yes, player three. Bangladesh? No. Nope. No. Nope. Sorry. Any other takers? I think I'll try it. It's player one. What is F No, what is Pakistan? Good. I was going to say Afghanistan, but I changed it and I'm glad I player did. One. India 16. The winner of the nineteen thirteen Nobel Prize for Literature, Rabindranath Tagore, was born in this former capital. In 1861. Here's what we were looking for. Calcutta. Calcutta. All right, India 2000. You get to pick again. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. The gesture here typically accompanies this common Indian greeting. From Sanskrit for to bow. Player one. Um... What is Dharma? No. That's not right. Anyone else care to take <coughs> a <that> response? <coughs> Here's the correct response. Namaste. Oh, Namaste. Player one, you pick it's a next, please. Stoneflies belong to the order Plecoptera, which means pleated this. We're talking about wing. Wing. Uh, 2000. Player one. Two common shorthorn species of this in North America are the lubber and eastern lubber. <sighs> the correct response is the grasshopper. The grasshopper. Ah. Uh, okay. So like uh, place 2000. In 2006. New Yorkers awoke to find his 1935 play, Awake and Sing, back on Broadway. Oh, I've never seen that play before, nonetheless heard of it. We're talking about Clifford Odets. Oh, Clifford Odets. Ah. Player so one, cool about him in the first here. round. Matthew Burnett turned this Our Town playwright's novel, Theophilus North, into a play. Here's the correct response. Thornton Wilder. Thornton Wilder. Ah. 1200? One. Moonlight and Magnolias depicts the epic struggle to turn this novel into a 1939 film. <coughs> okay. Okay, Holly's going to ring in, and she says, Gone with the Wind. Correct. She's right. Choose again. Player three. Place for 400. You might need a learner's permit to watch Paula Vogel's Pulitzer Prize play, How I Learned to Do This. What is drive? 
Fifty-three thousand two hundred. One clue left, which is for eight hundred. The play Spinning into Butter explores political correctness at a small college in this Green Mountain State. Green Mountain State. Uh... The correct response is Vermont. Ah, uh, Vermont. All right. You all move on to Final Jeopardy, which will Let's see what the Final Jeopardy category is. This is the Final Jeopardy category for today. 19th, 19th century, century inventions. Century inventions. Please enter your okay, I've got 53,200. So to reach 100,000, I would need to wager 46,800. That's what I'm going to do. Each direction on the plus control pad represents All right. a different response. For an even hundred thousand dollars total. To select an answer. Here we Here's go. The Here's Jeopardy the final Jeopardy story. question. One description of it said, its spokes look like cobwebs. They're after the fashion of those on the newest bicycles. Uh, <clears throat> spokes look like cobwebs. They're after the fashion of those on the newest bicycles. Uh... Wouldn't be the Eiffel Tower, and I don't think it was the Conestoga Wagon. Definitely not Radial Tire. One of these that makes the most sense is the Ferris Wheel, so I'll go with that one. What did you put as your response? Conestoga Wagon. And oh. Not right. And Katie risked all 400, so she finishes with zero. Let's see your response. And Holly put down Ferris Wheel. With that yeah. And she's response, right. You will gain. And she has eleven fifty, so she finishes with thirty nine fifty, and w and I put down Ferris Did wheel. You come up with the correct response. Yeah, I put down Ferris wheel. And, yeah. that correct response, and my wager, forty six thousand eight hundred. So, Cole, you're gonna get one hundred thousand dollars from this game of time. Jeopardy for the Nintendo Super Wii. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm glad I was able to get such a big win like that on camera. See you all for the next segment.